Доброе утро. Доброе утро. I don't know how to speak Russian. I'm trying. Because I'm not your enemy. This is fucking ridiculous. You know Trump won't bring peace, right? You know that, right? And you don't think I'm some sort of paid operative, do you? You know that, right? This is my sword. I was Jacques Molay in a previous life. Do you know that name? I am not your enemy. Now, if you're stupid, you might be giggling right now. But, if you have the ability to, say, chew gum and walk at the same time, you might have realized by now that I'm not faking a damn thing. You might have realized by now that I am reality. And then when I say I'm going to teach you a lesson, I mean the universe will teach you a lesson. Now, again, if you're stupid, you're giggling right now. A couple of weeks ago, I watched a movie. Whole family sat down and watched it. I mentioned it on a video. You know what movie that was? It was Back to the Future. And if you watch the video, to the best of my memory, I didn't go back and review, but I do recall looking at the camera intently and holding back the full reason why we were watching that. And I've said on many occasions that my first generation of daughters are eternally loyal to me and beyond assault by any means available to any other spirit. They cannot be stopped. And in movies, the truth will always be told. In fantasy, in art, in children's tales, the golden rule, what, what children know to be true, that you should be nice to people, that you should do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That you shouldn't judge someone based on what you've heard about them, based on how they look based on what you saw on the internet. I am not your enemy. I am nobody's enemy. The worst I am is a parent that a rebellious child is angry at. And oh yes, I know I see a lot of rebellious children. So, Biff and the Clock Tower. I love it. And then the big black Borg cube building. The big cock.
Kabbalic obelisk towering over the United Nations General Assembly in New York City. Because Trump isn't a globalist, right? Oh, that's right. Fasciste, terroriste, right? That's us, right? There's two different types of globalism. There's two different types of most things that involve the greater scheme of things. You see, you have Herbert Walker's, George Herbert Walker Bush's globalism, which would be the, what we are looking at is good and evil, right and wrong, a new world, that was just, he's not that much of a hick, but you know. A New World Order, right? That's the quote, right? And... What? Like, really define that from a non-paranoid point of view. Okay. Define that while actually acknowledging what you've done for a change. Spasibo. Because, you know, world domination by land and world domination by sea are, are, are entirely, you know, the same fucking thing. But there's one difference between our version of globalization and your version of globalization, which is being set up right now if Trump is allowed to take the White House. Okay? Our version of globalization, globalization, might declare war, might blow the shit out of some people, you know, might have a lot of collateral damage. We try to avoid it, okay? But we don't intentionally cause collateral damage because we don't intend to occupy land. We don't like occupying stuff. We're not occupiers. We believe in freedom. Okay, that's our whole founding principle is freedom. Freedom for everybody. And generally speaking, when we go and blow the shit out of somebody, it's because somebody else is trying to keep somebody from not being free. That's it. That's why America gets involved. Okay? And yeah, a lot of time it involves freedom to do business. But that's still freedom. Especially when compared to the alternative, which is, as opposed to global equality, global freedom, global capitalism, global liberalism, okay, you have global fascism, okay, global elitism. And I am sick and tired of hearing about liberals being on the elite side, people who worked for a living, people who served in politics their whole life, they're not elites just because they've gained influence by making sense, okay? Elites are the oligarchs, okay? Oligarchy, right? I mean... What's more elite than that? What's more elite than Putin and Trump? Okay, so you have a, a different type of world order that's going to take effect. See, one, one where you accuse it of being Orwellian when it just tries to keep people from harming each other. Okay? It's not Orwellian, that's Christian. More Christian than most religious people are these days. And then you have another one that is truly Orwellian, in that you cannot speak against the right of a, of a entitlement, okay? An entitlement bound by what? Genetic, birthright, Georgian royal philosophy. Okay? Yes, entitlement by male birthright. Look it up. I was there. 
<laughs> I am not your enemy. Do I look like your enemy? Who is like me, really? Who tells you ahead of time that, yeah, we all just watch Back to the Future because um, I'm trying to, the whole, the whole time before the election, I'm sitting there trying to say, look, Hillary Clinton's fucking great candidate. She can win. She can be president while not, you know, taking it for granted or anything. I'm the only person who thought, yeah, hey, Trump's going to fucking rig it. And I know the fucking trolls are going to be, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's just, how can you really live with yourselves, guys? And, and, and please understand, when, when I say I will make you suffer, understand that I won't do anything. The one speaking right now is not the lump of flesh you're looking at on camera. What's telling you that you will suffer is fate and circumstance. If you go back and watch my first video, if you go back and try to grasp what lesson I am teaching from the beginning, fate and circumstance have been teaching it for me. And no, Nothing I have ever done on camera has been faked or attempted to be faked in any way. When I went outside and did my little Metallica parody, that was one shot, one kill, one take. And please understand, that my temper doesn't only come from my exceedingly old age, extreme intelligence, and just general lack of patience with annoying, ignorant people. But it's also from the fact that having lived in extremely difficult circumstances and survived fights in this lifetime against more than 30 people at once. I have always found it rather difficult to be polite with people who hide behind keyboards. But, you know, I don't expect people who hide behind keyboards to understand such things. So anyway, you know, you can deny the fact that I talked about a Great Wall movie needing to be made on camera and the movie got made. You can deny the fact that my wife will tell you I've made by my simple wish. Okay? Didn't even need to use my magic, really. Just ask the daughters, the daughters do it. Okay? They're called the muses. You might want to look them up. Well, no. I, I don't think you'll find much accurate information on them. But, you know, you may have heard of them. Oh, jeez. And I'm sure, you know, Even some of my trolls wonder, is he crazy? Or is he really, you know, is, is it really John the Baptist and Mary? Is it really that Jesus is 
Gaelic, because Jesus was a Galilean. And Galilee was a base for Roman soldiers from Gaul. They were Gaels. It wasn't called Gaul back then. It was actually called Magdalenia, and they were renowned for their sailing skills. R. But anyways, I can tell you how fucking Peter Pan is a real story, so, you know, you can think I'm crazy all you want. But the fact of the matter is, reality was unfolding how I warned you it would. And if you know anything about reality, the question of whether or not I'm crazy should be a moot point. It doesn't negate anything. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Because if you don't know God's got a little crazy in him, you need to go look up what a platypus is. And, you know, just Answer your question. Am I crazy? Am I wearing a mask right now? See this mask? You know how long I've had it? How long has bleach been out? I got that in 1998. Ah, the whole world, the whole universe, all of reality is trying to tell you, listen to this man. When are you going to start listening to me? Good night, everybody.